Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick video because Jagex released the behind the scenes video on the player run ports and I just wanted to talk about the player run ports a little bit myself um, from what we can see in the um, in the video. So this is a picture of what I can tell is the gear. So this was shown in the video for a very short amount of time. It was literally up for like less than a second. So I managed to pause it on there and took a good screenshot of it in HD. So this looks like a pretty good quality um, screenshot of that. So I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. Obviously, I, we didn't see the major, the range gear, but this is the mega gear, and I have to say, it looks pretty awesome in the concept art. If it in game, it looks anything like this. Just that helm. Look at this. It just looks amazing. It's proper. It really is based on Eastern sort of gear, and I think it's going to look awesome. There's nothing in game that currently resembles anything like this, and it's definitely going to be nice to see something completely different. Um, obviously, I really hope it's untradeable. I don't want it to be something that every player can just get. Um, it requires high level skills to make, like 90 plus in the corresponding skill. Um, smithing for the melee gear, 90 plus rune crafting for the um, mage gear, and 90 plus crafting for the range gear. Which is pretty awesome giving a use to them skills. And if it is tradable, I hope you can craft and smith them for profit. Obviously you're going to be limited on the resources you can get, because you get them from the um, actual minigame. So this is obviously the male gear, which is clearly labelled on screen, and the melee, so obviously... The female variant will probably not be too dissimilar, but um, could have a few changes. But it looks pretty awesome. It looks quite bright and colourful. Um, he did show the bottom half as well, but I figured I'd take a screenshot of the top half as it, it, it like scrolled up the um, concept art as it as, as it showed it. So there was I took another screenshot just of this. Now this clearly looks like the interface for the mini game. Obviously, there's more interfaces than just this one. I just wanted to take a screenshot of this one, um, but it definitely looks quite complicated. The um, mini game itself definitely looks like it's going to take quite a lot of skill and thinking about it and logic, rather than just like um, a mini game that involves absolutely no logic whatsoever. So like, what's it called, Livered Farm, which is just literally doing a rigorous routine again and again and again, and it takes no thinking about whatsoever. This you're going to have various. Things, you're going to have so many things going on that you're going to actually think about it. Think about what's going to be best. You're actually going to need your logic. It's not just going to be something you can go and do really easily and get the gear. It's definitely going to take quite a lot. So the interface definitely looks quite complicated. And you can see that this is like an interface that comes up because you can see the background is still like, say, your regular RuneScape. And then this interface is over the top. And you can see the little X up there. So it does look quite complicated. There's a lot of things on screen. There's different sections up here different sections up there, what they are, we'll find out, but definitely going to be a lot to keep, um, to keep, um, to keep watch on. So you've got, like, morale and seafaring, seafaring down here, and success rate, and how long it took, I assume is what it means, or how long it will take, and then that'll start it. I'm not sure, I assume the morale is the morale of your crew, so how, how positive they feel. And uh, it says here looks like you're ready. The voyage has an excellent chance of success. Click here to send it on away. So success is 90%. So I'm assuming that means the success rate of the um, voyage you're about to take. And 10% of the time it might fail. So it might like crash in an iceberg or something stupid. But, um, so it looks like you can select different items. You can see like in the background rudders, hulls, rams, figureheads and deck items too. So he's actually selected deck items too here on this screenshot. And you can see he's selecting certain things that you can go on. And you can see certain things that unlock are um, um, locked. Which you'll probably unlock as you go through the minigame. And progress doing higher class and higher class voyages to different places. Obviously, having the requirements for doing all the minigame will obviously help you unlock more things. But it looks pretty awesome. You can see, like, the sort of stuff you get up as you go to the higher unlocked things definitely gets better. And it says here, seafaring 100. Now, if you go to the top, it says 360. I'm not sure how this is going to work, or if it's going to be, like, a case you've got... Like, you've got 500 points. You can spend them on a weathered rigging, which costs 100, and, this, and like an orc rudder or something and that'll cost another 200 or whatever and you've got a limit on how many you can spend i'm not sure or if that's a total but looks pretty awesome definitely looking forward to it it's going to be something completely different to anything we've really seen in runescape before and it should be pretty awesome and i have to say as well if you watch the video it does have some pretty awesome graphics which you can just find on runescape's channel it should be their most recent video um, so it does definitely look quite awesome, and I really hope one day the whole of RuneScape will look this good. The say the graphics team is like a continuous process of continuously updating areas. Once they've done a full round, they go back to the start again. 
Like, by the... You say you update Varrock, and then you update the rest of the runescape, you're going through, like, Farley, Ardy, the Elf Lands, and everything. And by the time you finish everything else, Varrock will need it again. That's what they're sort of saying. Um, but I would really like a lot of old areas to be updated to this sort of quality, because it is a lot better. But anyway, that's all for me. I just said I just wanted to do a small video and talk about it a little bit. I have to say, this game, um, the mini game should be awesome. I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the other gears as well. Should be really interesting to see how good they are, whether they have set effects and stuff. Um, but is it going to render next armors useless? That's another thing, because it's never been a case before where it's been worrying to release new high level gear. In the ca if case when they release like Torva over Bandos, Bandos isn't that expensive. I know to some people it might be, but it's only like 15, 20 mil for the chestplate and tassets. That isn't too much. But like when Torva was like 300 mil for just the body, you got to think if the release gear better than that, it's really going to have an effect on its price. Um, obviously it's crashed a lot now, but it's still quite expensive gear. And if they make it completely useless, it's going to it's gonna crash a lot. It's going to crash quite hard, I assume. But who knows what will happen, but we'll say on Tuesday or Wednesday if they release it on Wednesday. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and listening to me. Hope you enjoyed.